Paragraph 5. We've seen so far in the first four paragraphs the necessity, canonicity, the illumination, and the sufficiency of the scriptures. Now in paragraph 5, we're going to consider the clarity or the perspicuity of scripture. Is the Bible really clear? For a lot of people, it seems very confusing. And that can be an excuse to undermine or dismiss its sufficiency. People might say, well, I don't really understand what it's saying, and so they dismiss it as being relevant to their life at all. So this is what we would be affirming, that we believe that some things in Scripture are clearer than others and that some people understand the teachings more clearly than others. However, the things that must be known, get that, the things that must be known, believed and obeyed for salvation, are so clearly set forth and explained in one part of Scripture or another that both the educated and the uneducated may achieve a sufficient understanding of them through ordinary means. This is really key. It is not to say that everything in the Bible is equally easy to understand. Even the Apostle Peter, who affirms the Apostle Paul as being inspired by God in his writings, admits in 2 Peter 3 that some of what Paul teaches is hard to understand. What we're affirming when we affirm the clarity or the perspicuity of Scripture is not that every part of the Bible is equally easy to understand. Some parts are harder to understand than others. What we are saying is that those things which are necessary for life and for salvation, for life and godliness, to know God, to respond to Him appropriately in faith, to be saved by his grace and to live a life that's pleasing to him, all of that is made abundantly clear in the whole counsel of God's word. So that's what we mean by the clarity of Scripture.